For you, if you're planning on being on the St. Johns River, algae blooms have been reported in both Clay and St. Johns counties. Here's a look at all the places the blooms have been found so far. Doctors Lake, Green Cove Springs, Goodby's Creek, and a few other places. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum spoke with the St. Johns River Keeper about that toxic bloom. These blooms can be toxic to humans. It can even kill a person. Hot, dry weather creates optimal conditions for algae blooms, which are their natural phenomenon. But their frequency, duration, and intensity are increased by an overabundance of nitrogen and phosphorus, particularly when the weather is warm and the weather is calm. St. John's Riverkeeper took a sample at Doctors Lake Marina on Wednesday morning. The toxin levels were very low, so they were below the, the World Health um, Organization standards and guidelines for recreational use, so that was a good thing. So how do you know if algae bloom is toxic or not? You don't know without official testing. Whenever you see an algal bloom, just avoid it. Mm -hmm. I think that's the time to stay away from it. What we see in this picture here, this is what you do not want to do. <laughs> you don't want to be out boating and skiing um, and rafting like they are out in an algal bloom because you don't know if it's toxic. And if it is toxic, it can cause a lot of a variety of different types of health problems. The smell alone would make most people want to keep their distance, but if you think smelling it is safe but not touching it, you aren't necessarily right about that. Even if you don't come in contact, your body doesn't come in contact with it or you don't ingest it, it can aerosolize. And so what happens is these toxins get into the air and you can breathe them in. Mm -hmm. And it can cause respiratory problems. I, I know a lot of people that have been around it, you know, they get sore throat, their eyes itch, um, but it can cause some serious health problems as well. A few years ago, we had a huge algae bloom problem where a lot of fish died. The problem usually fixes itself and the water returns to normal. But for now, the Riverkeeper says it's best to stay away. Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station.